Wow, that was a good, that was a cool bite. Oh, look at him with him, bro. You see that? You see that big one with it? Oh my gosh, hold on, boys, hold on. I'm about to pull a, a weird thing right now. That's a big fish. I don't think he's with him. Yeah, he is. He's a big one, dude. Yo, what's poppin' people? Welcome back to another episode of Kicking Their Bass TV. If you guys are new to the channel, hit that subscribe button, hit the notification bell right next to it, and also hit the like button if you guys have been enjoying the content. Today, we're gonna be doing some topwater fishing. It's been a minute since we've done that, and I was like, man, we gotta come out here and try to get on some big topwater fish. And I, I don't know about you guys, but when it comes to bass fishing, one of my favorite ways to catch them has to be topwater. And um, that's what we're gonna be doing today, hunting for these big ones, casting some big topwaters around, and attempting to catch some really big bass. So I'm gonna talk a little bit about what rod I'm using in today's video, also what baits that we're using and uh, kind of dive right into it and make it happen. So I brought out a few top water boxes today and um, I'm gonna experiment around with a few different baits, but the first one that I brought out was this walking bait box right here. You got plenty of walking baits inside of here. And then the second one I got is actually a little popper box. Got multiple different poppers in there. And I believe what I'm gonna start off with is a walking bait. And if they're not eating that, I might slow down to this popper, give it a little couple pops, and uh, see if that entices some bass to eat. But I really would like to catch them on a walking bait today, so that's what we're gonna run with. Today's very cloudy outside, and normally when it comes to top water fishing, I'll end up using more of a bone top water. But you know, when the sun comes out, I'll end up switching up to more of a chrome top water, just like that. And uh, that's also a killer color. I'm telling you when the sun's out, try this chrome to catch them. And as we were talking, the sun just peeked through the clouds. So what I'm gonna do, those are usually my standard two colors that I go with, but I'm gonna use this natural one today. One of the last times that we were out here, I got on a crazy top water body. It was one of my best days of top water fishing ever. And it was on this little natural color right here. Let me show y'all. And these are actually sexy dogs by Strike King. It's got some brown on top, it's got a chartreuse stripe down the middle and a translucent bottom. And uh, this has been a killer top water for me. If you guys wanna check out any of the top waters or baits I'm using in today's video, I have the links and discount codes in the description box down below. We're actually gonna tie on this one and give it a shot today since this was the one that we just crushed them on the last time we were out here. And if they're not eating that, we can tell that they're not committing. You know, we'll end up switching up to a bone or maybe even that chrome if the sun gets out today. Um, if you guys are wondering what rod I'm throwing this on, this is actually a Mach 2 combo right here and I got this on braid. All the top waters I throw are on braid. I know a lot of people ask about it, but um, when it comes to top water fishing, you can either go with mono or braid. And uh, in my opinion, I just like braid a lot better. It's a lot more smoother. You can get those long casts and it just feels right in my hand. So I actually have a buzz bait tied on. This is from some of the river videos that we filmed. Um, if you guys wanna go check out some of the river videos, please go do so because we have been smoking them out there. Um, today's a little different. You know, we're out here on a pond and a john boat, but the river videos recently have been banging. So we're gonna go ahead and tie this bad boy on. If you guys are wondering what knot I use, it's a uni knot. It's my go-to. Boom, tie that sucker on just like that. Cut our tag in. Boom, and we're good to go. So this is the bad boy that we're gonna be casting around. It might take us a minute to get some bites, guys. It is, the top order bite recently hasn't been the best. You know, it's gonna start slowing down here and it's gonna pick up here at the end of the fall. But I'll tell you, we're gonna to have to make a lot of casts today, but I think the bites that we do get can be very good. So I think what we're gonna start off with is there's a big tree line right here behind us. We got a lot of shade. 
and a lot of fish that stick up in that. We're gonna go cast along the edge in these little crevices within the trees with this top water and see if we can call out any of these big girls that are sitting up in that shade. So let's go ahead and get this video started. I hope you guys enjoy. Hit the like button. If you want to see some more top water content. Let's hop right into it. All right, guys, we are about to get it started today. See if we can get some bass to come up on this top water. I'm starting off in this corner because every once in a while, you know, we'll get a few fish over here. Um, I don't know if we're gonna get a bite on this right now, but you know, then we're gonna kind of transfer over to that side of the bank. Start fishing some of those lay downs in that shade. And uh, I think the big thing is I wanna get this top water and this isn't something I can go and skip, but I can still be very accurate with it. Like we get up on these trees, you know, you're gonna have certain little holes in the trees with a lot of shade. And I think that's where we can call out a really big fish. If we land over on his head, but that's kind of the plan. But we're just gonna cover some water today and hopefully get some fish to eat this top water. That looks so good, dude. God. Wow, that was a good, that was a cool bite. Not big, but not a bad fish. Oh, look at him with him, bro. You see that? You see that big one with it? Hold on, boys. Hold on. I'm about to pull a, a weird thing right now. Oh, yeah. It's a big fish. I don't think he's with him. There he is. He's a big one, dude. Oh, my God. I don't have any pressure on him. No. <laughs> No, dude. I didn't have any hook set power on that fish. Did you see how big he was? Look at your face. No. Dude, I had zero press. I had this rod between my legs and I had one hand on that rod and I have it all the way up in the air and I know I can't reel, dude. I didn't have my other hand. And I was just watching it in slow-mo as he was gonna spit it out on me. He jumped all the way out. You know what I should have done? I should have just dropped this rod, like screw this fish and yeah. just caught him. That was what? Almost a five pounder. Yeah. <laughs> Dude, that was that was hard for me to take in right there. It's been a minute since we had we've been fishing for a second. We haven't had any bites. Finally had this sucker blow up on it. He has a dang four or five pounder with him. Look at that little tiny guy that I just traded out for a freaking slaunch. <sighs> I can't believe it. So what I did is I saw that fish come up to the boat. And I knew he was going to be with him, so I let the top water drop. And then I just dropped this crawl down right next to him. It's just a little rage crawl, and dude, he ate it. And so, like, what I did is I just went like this to hook set with one hand. And then I had all the pressure up, and I, as the fish was coming up, I lost all the pressure. So my rod was as high as I could put it with this arm, and I just couldn't do anything. Oh, man. What a way to start it out, Cody. Yeah, no, that was crazy. It could have been a lot better, but, ah. Oh. I should have just I put I should have put my priorities like the big fish first. Man, what are you thinking, man? That was like a fr dude, that was a freaking donkey. Yeah, that was really cool. Like it wasn't even like it was a small fish. That was a freaking donkster. Yeah. yeah. There we go. See when we got in that shade right there, that's when he slammed it. Oh what the heck? It's not expecting to get bit right there. This isn't the topic of this video, but usually when you have one in a top order like that, if you follow up with a soft plastic, watch this. If he's sitting there, sometimes it don't work, but sometimes they'll eat it. Like if you're throwing like a buzz bait or any top order like that, you have a blow up and they just don't eat it. I usually get whoever I'm fishing with to pick up like a little, little worm or a little crawl kind of throw in after it. Sometimes you can catch that fish. See if we'll eat it. It's probably long gone. You, you got to do it pretty quick. But 
Eh. Maybe we'll get another big one to blow up on this. Well, I know we talked about it. You know, we brought a few different topwaters out, but they are just not. And I expected this today. This is the thing. Towards the end of the summer, you'll notice that the topwater bite literally just goes away like that. And that's kind of what we're experiencing right now. I knew it wasn't going to be easy doing this today, but I still really want to get a topwater video out for you guys. So i'm going to keep trying i'm not going to put anything else on quite yet unless they're just not eating it but we're gonna put this walking bait away and we are going to grab one of these poppers and this is something i can kind of throw up there work a little bit slower and see if that's what they want because i've been working it pretty aggressive i'm gonna go with this one right here it's more of just a natural color it's got like whitish pearl on the bottom green on the back I think that white right there on the bottom is going to be important with these cloudy conditions. That could have been why those fish weren't eating that bait too. It could be the color. So we're going to tie this popper on and cast this around for a while and see if this is going to enhance our bites. What in the world? I wasn't even looking. Not big, but <laughs> not a bad one. He's bigger than our first one. It's a little pounder, pound and a half. Look at that right there. That was pretty quick on that popper too. I mean, we were throwing that walking bait for a while. I just tied this popper on probably 10, five, 10 casts ago. Already got us fish, so nothing big, but we're getting somewhere. It's two fish so far on the top water. One on a popper, one on a walking bait. Pretty bass. Right when I looked away, he ended up biting it. Maybe that's the secret. I just can't watch it pop. <laughs> you gotta go off the sound. Gosh, now that's what we're talking about. That's a good one too. A better one. <laughs> yeah. Look at that fish run. It's about two pounder. Mm-hmm. That's now we're getting better. Look at that. He ate the popper the same way. That's a good little fish. That's a high one pounder, close to two. Little better, nothing really big, big, but that's a good little bass. Not a big fish, about a pound and a half, pound and three quarters, but hey. You gotta love it. Still a top water bite. You gotta love the top water fishing. Oh my God. That's a pretty good one. That's the biggest one today. Oh yeah. That's a good one right there, boys. Look at that one. That's a three pounder. Gosh, that was a crazy bite. Honestly, did not it caught me by surprise it's a, not even three if he was a little fatter look how long he is it's a high two pounder though <laughs> he's probably two and three quarters that's a freaking good one finally got us a good bite guys it's been it's been brutal and brutal throwing this thing but we finally got one just to explode on it that's the bites that we want caught me by surprise when you're throwing this thing and not having many bites and then you have one just destroy it like like that one did that's just freaking sweet got a bunch of grass with him too pretty fish if he was thicker you know he's super long that would be a really good fish right there but he's got a lot of room to grow that's a long bass thank you buddy that was a sweet bite let's go oh, give me some cody let's get it yeah that was sweet that's the bite we've been waiting on guys right there something like that I just wish he was a little bigger. I know we can get one that's a four pounder. We get in the right place at the right time. You know, they're not really eating this top water. That's really what I expected. You know, we film these videos a lot where we, we go out and we base a video on a certain topic, whether it's a worm, a big worm, a big jig, top water, 
whatever it is. And sometimes we tend to pick the days that they're not gonna eat the bait to go out. So it makes it 10 times harder to catch the fish. But when you get the bites, it's totally rewarding. And I still think we have an opportunity to catch a high three, four or five pounder. I mean, we saw that fish come back with that small one. That small one when it ate the bait, I really believe that that big one would have ate it. I just about had a bird eat this top water. Do you see that? Yeah. I wasn't paying attention, but he was coming down for it. Shoo. That's it, baby. Yep. That's her. That's a freaking good one. He choked it too. Oh my God. <laughs> Dude, that is what's so much fun about topwater fishing. I got his mouth pried open too. Look at how he ate this thing. He made him look so much bigger because his mouth stuck like that. <laughs> oh man, that's a good fish. That's what we were wanting. Get these pliers, get this bad boy out of here. He had that thing just wedged in his mouth. It had, him, had his mouth wide open. That was a good bite. That's what we were waiting on. Bites are few and far in between, guys. It's been a slow day, but we're still making it happen. That's a good bass right there. Look at that one. That's healthy. Super healthy. Bleeding. She bleeding? Ooh. Oh, I didn't even see that. Thank you, buddy. That was a nice one, bro. Yeah, that was a good one. Give me some. Let's get it. So, you know, it's been tough today, guys, but what I will say is the bigger fish, like the two to four pound range, they're slamming it. Like, that's the bites that we want. We're not getting many, but like, the bites that we get are a lot of fun, and they're just destroying that top water. That's exactly what we want, but let's just keep it, keep it going. See if we can catch a few more. Look at that, slam it. Oh my God. Oh, that was a big one. And I stuck him. Oh my gosh. Do you see the side of that one? No, I didn't see him. Oh, he's like three and a half pounds. That was our best one today. I stuck him though. He just, gosh. The fact that he hit it again like that was just so cool. He turned around and went right back in there, but he ain't gonna bite. Dang, dude. Mm -mm -mm. He came up, slapped it. You could tell he didn't really want it. And the second time he ate it. And I had him by like one of these hooks on the back and it came off. Another interesting thing to talk about, what if this little feather on the back of it is causing some of these bites? I've seen that multiple days out on lakes where they only want that feather hook. Could be a possibility. That's aggravating though. Those last two bites right there. We ain't having many bites, so I hate losing them like that. Dude, I know there's one right here. Oh, gosh. There he is. Oh, that's a good one, dude. That's the best one yet. Look at that one. Gosh, dude. Like dang shark week when they eat it. They don't show much throughout the day, but... Oh, my gosh. They've been, they've been getting the hooks pretty good too, which is awesome. The ones that have ate it, yeah, that's a good fish. That's a close to three pounder. <laughs> yeah. All right, we're getting on something, guys. It's been, it's been a struggle, but we're doing it. We are doing it. I'm just having fun with the bites that we're having, man. Any bites on top water are fun, but these bites are just destroying it. Dude, look at that. That's a freaking chunk right there, baby. That's a good one. Destroyed it like a freaking donkey. You gotta love it. That's a pretty fish right there. That's sweet. <laughs> that is a fat guy. Thank you, buddy. You're an aggressive one. It's so funny when you get them hooked, it's like, they don't seem like they're eating the top water today and then you have the bite. And then the bite's just ridiculous. And then once they're hooked, they just go crazy and they're flopping around. 
Well guys, we're gonna end off today's video, but we had a good time. I'm gonna tell you, I wish it was a lot better with the top water bites. I wish we would have had a lot more, caught a lot more fish, but we still did good. We still caught some good bass. It was time consuming, not only that, but the bites were few and far in between, but we still made it happen and caught some good fish. I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, please hit that like button. Let me know down below if you guys wanna see some more top water content and what top waters you would like me to fish with. I love you guys so much and I'll catch you all in the next video.